No, I think I've got in the picture now. Uh, let's go pay. Okay. Before yep. everybody starts staring again. <laughs> uh, yeah, we go pay. And it's a good moment because I kind of lost topics to talk. And I think this scene went long enough. Hi. So we can move It isn't on. a good scene until we embarrass the crap out of Suzuka. I mean, come on. <laughs> I think I already did that. Alright, so I guess we'll go to um to to Ref and Katsumi then. Okay, I guess I'd be right. four. Alright. Mm, something a bit more. Hmm. Wait. I figure we'll leave it nebulous on what her response to my Christmas present was. I need to go read what it was. Magical tea cleaning set. Okay. Just practical. a question. Sure. Just, just one question. How many of your Christmas presents have the adjective magical in the name? <laughs> They're all bought at the Demon Bazaar. So basically, if I do not add a magic to it, I, it's a mistake. I'll go change that. Okay. <laughs> they were all they were all specifically bought as magic items, and to, and people were told don't open them in front of Norm, you know, in front of the Muggles. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Just but yeah, checking no. for consistency. It, it is Wrath, so I mean, he made a point of basically everything he bought was ma was specifically magically based because, well, he's loving magic. Alright, that's consistent. Carry on. <laughs> Good. All right. So as I get to your character, I'll say what your family members bought for you for Christmas. Okay, so for Wrath, his mom probably got him some more clothes. They probably went, she went shopping after she took down your measurements by eye. Okay. She bought you a bunch of clothes. Huh. A mom buying clothes for Christmas. Man, that's just cutting you, man. That's just blowing my mind. That's a new one. And they're actually very stylish. Okay. Yeah, girl. Of course there's underwear in there. You've got to have the whole kit and caboodle. There's some Calvin Kleins in there. <laughs> All right. Your father didn't get you anything. Yeah. Predictable. Yep. Right. How about Shattered Hopes and Dreams? <laughs> well, you got him disappointment. <laughs> All right. So, so when you um, when you, I'm assuming you arranged it by text, and it will be at the temple, so you don't have to do a scene saying where are we going. No. Yeah. Sure. And then uh, you will, you will meet Katsumi. At the, she'll be waiting for you, and okay. she'll be in her traditional garb, you know. Right. And uh, she'll be like, uh, greetings, Doc. Greetings. Um, as you suggested, I I sort of like I got I if I can get the get the uh, the map I made of the ocean portals framed because I was I'm supposed to give I was supposed to give it to them as you know as an honored gift. So I would have had to, if I could have set that up earlier. Could I? Mm. Yes, but you can also roll an understanding. Okay. Yeah. All right. You figured that uh, instead of buying it, you would be a, it would be a gr not a grander one, but a more deeper gesture if you made the frames yourself. Got it. Uh, could I have had time or not? Hmm. 
Well, uh, you can either, like, ask for her advice here, or you could have made some beforehand. Which in which you'll need to roll for. Um, this is actually you know, it's rap, so <laughs> um, fuck. Oh, um, yeah, no, Raph, uh, actually, uh, Raph would basically, um, Shit, sorry. Okay, actually, no, I, I got it now. Um, Raph goes, I was planning on make. I was planning on asking Gideon to help me make a frame for the map hmm. that I told you about. Is, oh, yeah. I was. Oh, well, he's uh, he's very good with his crafts. One of the best that I know of our peers, if not the best. I've only seen a little bit of his work, but it's still amazing. So I don't quite have it ready yet. I didn't expect um, I didn't expect to be this quick, and since he's been busy all week, so I might be a little bit late on giving giving it as a gift. If that's okay. Oh, that's fine. You do remember that uh, Christmas is more of a Western tradition that we've adopted. Well, from the West, so meant a lot to me my mom right of course i only meant to i only meant to soothe your concerns about a late gift thank you mm. um so all right then. She'll, she'll say that uh, if you still wish to go through with the ceremony that will be fine but as you know, our practices are—they are within the realm of uh, of, the, of native Japan. And if there's anything that influences it, the stronger the influence, the muddier the results. Are you saying that basically it might not be the best reading on today? No. No, which is why I wanted to ask if you knew anything more about your own origins since we last oh. spoke. Um, I found out, uh, yeah. So, it turns out that I am, that, uh, how do I put this? I'm kind of related to Akira, in a way. So what? That's got to muddy my, my, that's got to muddy my blood, blood somehow, right? <laughs> You're related to Kazuhaya? Well, it uh, seems to be a lot... Um, uh, effectively, I found out from my father that we have um, fey blood within us. Is she your through cousin or through uh, marriage? No, I, it's, no, I, I meant... It, uh, as best I can understand, it's, a, it's just more of a... We're both from Ireland, and we both have a sort of... Wait, actually, hold on. Are we? I mean, I, I thought it was just a distant relationship based on of that. Or are we like really actually cousins? Out of game. Um, out of game. No, no, out of game. Yeah. Out of game. No, it's like literally saying everybody came from the same. Uh, right. Yeah. You're not. You're not that close. Right. <laughs> just. I just want to make sure that I didn't free. You know, basically. Remember that wrong. That's what I was saying. Oh no, you remember that right? But Kira just says cousins all the time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're no, trying to be confused. No, and that's what, uh, yeah. And uh, Rafa, she did, yeah. So, okay, sorry. Well, I mean, point. she told Gidyu that she, he was her cousin as well. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe you do Kira every piece of the cousin. <laughs> that way, she can kiss him. Anyway, um. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the state of mind I'm in apparently right now. Moving on. Don't, don't, that's not that's not curious thing. That's Katsumi. <laughs> Get out of here. Um. So yeah. So then, what he said was yeah. That basically just it's the more um, that we're all from the, the we're all from the same Irish mythology, or have roots or have roots in that 
And so it sort of links us together a little bit, kind of. You, you mentioned uh, she will roll a knowledge roll. Uh, what's her knowledge, die? I imagine it's, like, pretty high. You know, it's a D10. It'll just be a straight D10. Because uh, she wouldn't Maybe have a any. Negative. I would also almost say I would argue a negative would be in there, a small one. Because it is different. It is in different. Um... I, don't, I don't know what you're rolling for, so I can't say anything else. Well, wow. okay. And she'll be like, uh, you mentioned these Fae. Uh, I, from what I've heard, they're trickster spirits. Mm, ones with names and faces rather than Cammy here. Mm. If that's to be true, then there's no way that we'd ever be able to read your blood. There'd be too much interference. Ah. But you can still go through the ceremony. There's nothing. There's no, nobody stopping through that. I would rather enjoy it myself as well. All right. Who knows? Maybe it's something that will be let through. Mm. Mm. But you, but uh, you do. Rem uh, you do remember last time when I said there was to be offerings to be made. Mm. As for the drawing of the blood, uh, I'm afraid that uh, Fujiwara-san he said he had business for the next couple of days. Mm. There is. Uh, there is somebody who can do it for you, though if the reading's not the important part, then I suppose it would be of no loss to you. I, I mean, sure. If if we already if we already work with that conclusion, then I mean, let's then yeah. Right. Right. If that's the case, then the GM needs to be reminded of what they actually did for it. What um, you actually did for it? I think it was the cleaning. There was archery, there was yes. there was cleaning, there was flower arranging, there was archery, and then there was giving gifts into mm -hmm. the prayer box. Yes. <laughs> but I, I forget what the names are. That's oh, cool. That's I okay. don't. Either. Gotta remember, this shit was months ago. Yeah, I know. Alright. So, with that said in mind, uh, mm, she'll just kind of uh, pass you over some robes. There's a change okay. There's a changing block around the side. Alright. I go over and change... Changing into halfway but through go wait, how does this go on exactly? Oh right. You probably haven't put on a uh you can't have before. Mm. And uh she'll she'll just kind of uh, stand there for a bit and she'll be like uh, are you proper in there? I could fasten it for you. Uh yeah. I'm decent. Right. Well, most people probably say I'm not, but that's beside the point. I probably don't have my shirt on and stuff like that, but, you know, the bits are covered. All right. So she'll just uh, she'll just knock on the door and she'll say that she's opening it. Then she'll turn around and, uh, can you roll me your uh, diligence with a minus okay. two? All right. Can I add something to that? No. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Damn. All right. So um, you you'll never see it coming, but uh, you'll you'll suddenly feel this. It's not like a pain, but this sharp um push into the small of your back. It's shaped pretty much like a foot, and uh, Katsu will just kind of bring the belt up and she'll wrap it really fucking tightly. Okay. Oh, okay. But you, you rolled really well on your diligence, so you're able to you're you're able to endure Katsumi's your cat your cat 
Rapping. Holy crap, okay. <laughs> Good note, she's in the bondage, apparently. Alright. And then after that, 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 that pretty much, like, you can barely breathe assembler, she'll just kind of softly dust off the, the shoulders and straighten them. And she'll be like, uh, there you go. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Graph waddles out. <laughs> hey, I look good doing this. I got, I got Max, so come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't see you grimace or anything. She... <laughs> And she'll say, it looks rather fitting, though. Mm. I suppose you could say that you're possessed by a spirit with the way that you look. Yeah, it's rad. Hey, real quick, I sort of hand her my phone. Take a picture from my mom. <laughs> she would mm. love to see me wearing this. Uh, certainly. And she'll just kind of take the phone and uh, it'll take her a while to... To hold it up and she'll click and be like, I'm no Suzuka, but here you go. Thank you. And she'll pass back the phone. Nope. Mm. So, are you ready to do uh, some cleaning? Uh, yes, I am. You know what it's time for. Remember me? <laughs> I'm the ghoul of Sugiwara. Hey. Hi. Hey. hey. Why'd you never leave the map? <laughs> <laughs> My time has come. Um, and so have I. You last time. <laughs> the bane to all pigeons. Alright. So I'll let you carry over that diligence into the cleaning. Okay. Cool. That's it. Understood. So yeah, you're diligently clean. All, all tucked in. And, uh, and then afterwards, Katsumi, she'll just kind of, uh, you know, when you dust off your hands and you, and you have that, that woo, I'm done, like victorious look on your face. Right. She'll be like, uh, right, right. So I suppose we'll go on to the next stage then, now that we've shown uh, our respect to who you are. Hmm. Uh, have you ever tried archery before? Uh, once. I didn't kill any of the teachers, so that's a good thing. Mm, usually they're standing behind you. That wasn't necessarily safe with my class. Mm, I didn't think that archery was as important in the USA as in Japan. It, it was just a... Uh, it was a cultural... It's... We, it, weapon training in the U.S. for kids is a common occurrence. Just with a smile. Oh, right, I didn't know they were so serious in their training. Oh, we had a, a, a person from the Native Americans come in and teach us about their culture, and we had a little archery training in during that time, that's all. Ah, I've heard... I've heard many things about their totems and their ancestral patrons. Mm. A very unique culture. Yeah, from what I can remember of it. I think it was like nine. Right, right. Well, if you're rusty, then I can certainly show you how the proper position. Please. Which will pass you a Yumi. It's a wooden one. Okay. And uh, she'll just kind of, uh, she'll adjust your arms. So they're really rigid. Right. And so, and so if you keep this position while you're while I'm showing you how to shoot the bow, you'll grow more accustomed to it. Though it may hurt now, the reward later will be worth it. I'll hold it as long as I can. All right. Roll me a diligence. With the same negative two? No, that was just for, you know, a woman... Getting Got dressed. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. So you you hold the position, and uh, it'll be like, uh, right. It doesn't matter whether you hit the target or not. The important thing is that you show that you're willing to learn. 
Okay. Okay. See me roll. roll. All is fine. Okay. One D ten. One D one. One hundred. Wow. I am. All right. So she'll let off an she'll let off an arrow and it will fly straight. And you'll squint your eyes because it goes pretty fucking far. And it hits the target right at the back of the field. Damn. I'm not expecting to do that, am I? Uh, no. That's actually the first one I've been able to hit ever since I started teaching your classmates. Ah. Pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so how do you show me how you do that again? Basically just, you know, so I can take my shot. Yeah, but you won't get any modifiers to it because Obviously. you know you haven't done it before. So just a standard uh, d complex? Yes. Alright. Um, solo or buddy? Solo. Alright. And then diligence, right? I'll use diligence, but you can use diligence as well. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Yep. You hit the target. Oh! Sweet! Hmm. Impressive for somebody who doesn't do this as training, or have any practice. Well, I have a great teacher. Mm. No, I've only shown you how you should hold it. The power and the dexterity behind it was entirely your own. All right. Thank you. Um, so next... Mm. Next is where we make tribute, to, not through the art of war, but through the art of craft and uh, and the softer side of the world. Uh, we will we, we'll make our, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a tree branch. Mm. Okay. That thing. <laughs> that thing, and, got uh, it. She'll lead you into an ink. Kind of like a gazebo area, because you're still outside. Right. And you'll see there's a bunch of, like, you know, flowers, beads, str string, colored paper, that kind of thing. Got it. Crafts class. Sorry. Uh, essentially, it's, it's often what the children do as well, especially on New Year's. Hmm. Didn't know that. Right, right. Well, just because it's something that's seen as a child's activity doesn't mean that it's ex it's meant to be looked down upon by adults. It's the one thing that we can all do together without any disabilities or disadvantages in life tearing us apart in that regard. I think I understand. So. I will show you some techniques. Okay. Right. Okay, Jimmy will roll. And she can't re roll. So, all right. So, uh, so she'll just kind of, uh, she'll just kind of settle down. And she'll, she'll, she'll put something together that's fairly simple. All right. Yeah. Like, there's examples around, like, the, like, on hanging from, um, I don't know, trees or whatever, and hers look a, looks a lot more simple compared to those complex things. Got it. And uh, she'll just kind of uh, furrow her brow. She seems she seems a bit disappointed. Okay. Well, I don't make any comment on. I no enough to be quiet on that. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll try and. Make something similar? Yeah. Depends on the role. I'm going to be using um, intuition. 
if that's okay. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah. Whoa, Oops. 110, <laughs> what she's got. No, that's 118, but it was a 91. Shit. Nice. Uh, yep. I mean, Raf isn't one to try to hold back and successfully hold yeah, back. Yeah, unfortunately, it is Raf. He will always push everything to his best of, to the best of his ability. He'll never shortchange anything. So, yeah, so he basically did something very similar to her, but he had like a lot more of the... Um, a lot more of the different elements to it, like the beads and flowers and stuff like that, to to that. Like, like America, where it's super size. <laughs> it's bigger is better. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, like, this takes you a while to make, so she'll just politely sit there and watch you. Okay. And then at the end of it, she'll be like... Uh, Oh, that is certainly a large tribute you have made there. I just got drawn into it. Sorry. Oh, no, no. It was wonderful to see you work. It was the first time I've seen such a serious frow upon your, upon your face. Oh. I mean, even though we kind of know the outcome of this, it's. I don't want to put any... I don't want to diminish this experience by thinking light of it at all. Mm. 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 Yes, but still, you must take the compliment. Oh, there is a you, difference though. between wanting to show reverence and truly putting your all into it. Uh, thank you, then, yeah. it. I didn't... Maybe I should pick up crafts um, at some point for an extra quick That was actually kind of fun. <clears throat> Sorry, that was actually kind of fun. It's certainly meant to relax the mind. Mm -hmm. But perhaps it would be nice. I I don't see why people wouldn't. And uh, it will be like, uh, right, now that we've made tribute, we, we give it. If you have anything else you wish to give in reverence, then... You can add it to this box here, and she'll give Raph a wooden box. That's fairly plain looking. I, Does Raph um, want to give anything else? Actually, yeah, Raph, uh, Raph's been uh, was thinking about this, so he does go, I, I'll be right back if that's acceptable? Certainly. I go to the nearest Jeffries to sneak into our dorm to get into his room. If that's possible. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, yeah, so he gets one of his... He, get, he basically gets out um, a couple of his workbooks. and Basically, he had... When he was first coming here, he basically made a bunch of, like, study guides, stuff like that. Um, that was basically, you know... Because, remember, that's how he used to basically how to learn things. So, mm -hmm. he... But when magic came... When he found out about magic, it, you know, he went a completely different route and used that. So, the point is, basically, he had a bunch of study books that he had prepared for his time in Japan... But he hasn't actually used it, so he goes and gets those and brings them back. And then he basically goes, um, he, "These are this is a reputation of my old life before I knew everything existed. It was who I was to the core of who I am. So I figured that would be a good tribute." Mm. I see a symbolic gift, and she'll smile, and she'll be like. Uh, this is indeed a valued treasure, then. Something that you've put your your hard work and effort into. Something you made purely for the for the assistance of other people. Yeah. So, all right. So, I, I guess I put, put all the stuff in the box. All right. And uh, so will be like... Uh, Right, you simply put it uh, below the tree here. All right. Is there like a hole, or just I just put the box down? And you there just are put the box. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. But uh, give me a moment. Do you want to okay. spend anything for your intuition, intuition roll? Um. 
it's wrath, so yeah, I'll spend a point. Alright. Jill, what do you want to add? Um, I'll add... What's that knowledge for D8? Okay. Alright. So, based on... Uh, based on what you've learned previously... You kind of feel like there's a gigant, 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 gigantic, gigantic, gigantic. Yes. You know, like how um, you have a line and it's thicker in some places than another. Yeah. You know, like there's a really thick ley line underneath the tree. Got it. <laughs> So, you know, you don't see any other boxes, but you're not the first one to have given tribute. So you can put two and two together. Got it. You could just take a, a couple extra seconds to stare at the ley line a little bit. Wow, that one's big. <laughs> I mean, to everybody else, it looks like you're staring at the ground. No, I know. And the cutscene will be like, uh, um... Are you feeling tired? Oh, no, sorry. Um, ever since we did that walk through the city, um, occasionally I sort of see some of the ley lines around here, and there's a really big one underneath that tree, sort of distracting me for a moment. Oh, right. I'm not able to see them myself. I imagine it must be a, a riveting view. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to describe. I mean, it's it's the raw flow of power. I mean, it's incredible, but it's like watching. Have you ever like watched a volcano or just fire going wild? Mm. There are some volcanoes in in a domain, but I, mean, I don't know if that's quite the same thing as a more tempered volcano in one of our mountains. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, I've only ever seen them on TV, but it's just, it's, it looks kind of like that. It's just a, it's just, it makes you go realize basically exactly where we stand on the earth. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, I'm still distracting from the ritual. Apologies. Oh, no, it's fine. The Kami would be happy of you, of you experience all of them. Mm. And she'll just kind of, uh, she'll just, she'll just kind of hold her hands, and she'll be like, uh, "Right, well, that is everything now. Do you care for some tea?" Um, sure. Mm. I will certainly make use of the present that you've got to me. Thank you once again. Oh, I'm Pract glad you... I, sorry, go. It's practical. But yet you... You thought of the... Of the... Of the few hobbies that I do have. And I've heard that basically, I mean... I, 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 my first instinct was, to, you know, just to buy a tea set. But I know that half the ritual is basically you, the tea set themselves. And now you pass them down. So I basically thought that... Well, yeah, I I hope that you'd like it. I'm glad that you you did. Mm. If only I was able to find the legendary tea set that Nobunaga once used himself in their tea ceremonies, but I am far from being a master of the tea. Though I would well, like to do that one day. For when hey, maybe I we can try and look for the domain. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to treasures that not quite as important as the imperial treasures, but still national icons, it's not that easy to track down. But if it's out there, if we were able to, if we were able to utilize the mirror, then perhaps. But no, that is not our own. <laughs> A mirror? Mm. Have you heard of the three imperial treasures? 
Um, that sounds like you're using capital letters, so probably not. Mm. Mm. There are treasures that only the royal family can possess without being cursed. Hmm. I'm afraid that I won't be able to, to show you Father's sword uh, unless you want to deal with a thousand and one curses. <laughs> I have enough thank you of my own. <laughs> but that's pretty impressive if he has one of the three. What are the other two? Oh, I guess the mirror is one. And the mm. third one is... And there's, also, there's also a set of precious beads. But we ex our, our previous treasure was the beads themselves, but we exchanged them with, uh, with the other royal members in, in an offering of peace, and we've kept on to the sword for generations since. Huh. Wow. I didn't know your family was that high up. <laughs> She'll just kind of laugh. And she'll be like, uh, the patron of the Fujiwara were the Nakatomi, though we choose to live a more humble life. The Fujiwara are meant to be emperors of Japan, but the Nakatomi were merely servants to the Kami. Yeah, all right. Still. Hmm. Did you not know? Um, no, I don't think I did. I mean, no, mm. to be honest. Well, you don't, well, it's a very, I suppose it's a bit too late to start calling me Nakitomi, Sano. I, do you, would you prefer if I did? Prefer to? Hmm. Perhaps, but still, I've heard you say my name flippantly so many times already that I've grown rather used to it. I apologize for my gaijin ways. Mm. Just with a smile. No. When it comes to accepting foreigners who wish to he was to embrace themselves in our culture. You're not the first one who's expressed interest. And she'll just she'll just kind of lose her smile and she'll be like, anyway. Tea? Uh, please, yeah. So what kind of what flavor of tea? Mm, traditional green tea will do. Ah. Uh, so for the past couple of weeks I've been getting some strange smells from Rio's um tea cup. Mm, Ogato? Yes. Mm. Does he enjoy tea? I think so. Uh, Akira and um, uh, Suzuka got us all these little um, advent calendars. Ah. From that friendly nasib. Uh, yeah. Mm. I imagine he must have had a few laughs then as you opened them. Uh, yeah, actually, some of mine were some pretty funny jokes, or pretty lame funny jokes. Mm. Funny jokes. Uh, I've, also, I've, I've been told that my humour is quite, well, limp. Um, I, I'll tell her a couple of the jokes that, are, that he remembers. And, all right. Katsumi roll up, roll her understanding as you re as you recite the jokes you never got to use. The joke yeah. pickup lines. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Come on, one. I have to admit, I was hoping for the one too. I have to admit that. Uh, she'll be like, e -e -e excuse me. Oh, sorry. I mean, it, they they weren't okay. They pro some of them weren't probably the yeah. Apologies. She'll just she'll just kind of cover her chest as you say one of them. <laughs> 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 I 
the, the tea tastes very good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you are to yes. look only at my eyes and nowhere else. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, did not, I did not know that men could think such thoughts. <laughs> Sorry. How have you? How have we? Do not share that kind of relationship, Dark Kim. We are we are simply students enjoying each other's presence, and you came here for reverence, rather for any of that, <laughs> any of um, those direct and lewd moves. Are you? <laughs> It was a bad joke. I apologize. I, I did not think it necessarily. I didn't see it in that context. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Raph isn't laughing. And I'm just. I actually. Hold on. I got to roll with my diligence. <laughs> How much of a negative are you going to give? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, is that cutting uh, your extra minus two from the uh, your discussion oh yeah. with girls? Oh yeah, no, right. So it's a negative two, so it's even better. <laughs> so yeah, so Raph is trying hard to not to snicker, but he's just not holding it back. <laughs> because I, I'm sorry, I, I, they weren't the greatest jokes in the world, and I went too far with telling you the the worst of them. And she'll just, she'll just kind of keep, uh, she'll just kind of remember that her arms are covering her chest, and she'll just force them down into her lap, and she'll be like, and she'll, she'll just kind of stare at the floor, and she'll be like, right, right, I suppose this kind of humour isn't really uh, temple appropriate. It caught me off guard that you, you could say such vulgarity. <laughs> Really, I'm really very sorry. I got caught up in some of the. Uh, uh, I apologize. Um, can let's try and salvage the dignity of this of the tea. Right, right. Tea is for soothing the mind rather than exciting it. <laughs> you can keep your mouth to the teacup. <laughs> uh, real quick, what is? 